Hello, I'm Bill Mance with Jackson County Close-Up. We're here today with Diane Hamilton, and she is the Director of Victims Assistance for the D District Attorney's Office. And uh, thank you, Diane, for spending time with us today. Thank you. Kind of what are victims' rights, and, and what are the things that you're really coaching them through? So defendants have a whole bunch of rights. And then victims have rights that are given to them by the state of Oregon, and they're a much smaller number. Okay. There are approximately 12 to 14 victims' rights, okay. and not all of those rights really apply to every case. So there's special rights for special cases. Um, so like child sex abuse cases, those cases have more victims' rights. But the type of things we talk about when we talk about what is a victim's right. Victims have the right to be present and heard at certain court hearings, but there are only certain court hearings and the victims need to know when, hey, you're allowed to be heard at this court hearing. So like a bail reduction hearing, a victim's allowed to speak at that. Okay. But an arraignment, a victim's not allowed to speak at that, but they have a right to be notified of it and they have a right to be present. Gotcha. And so our job is to make sure they know they have a right to be there and they know when it happens. Because if they don't know there's a hearing, they're not going to go to it. So they also have rights to restitution. They have a right to restitution being ordered for them. They have a right to meet with the attorney in a violent felony case. So like an assault or a rape, they can meet with the DA and talk to the DA about um, what's going to happen with the case. One of the big things I think we educate people about is the difference between criminal law and civil law. Okay. Because people see a case and they say this case is Diana versus Bill. Gotcha. But if I committed a crime, it's not Diana versus Bill. It's the state of Oregon versus Diana. Uh -huh. And now Bill is a victim in that crime. Gotcha. So you become a witness in our case, even though it was you that the case is all about, really. And back in the old days, in the 70s or before, right? A long time ago, before victims' rights were really big and came to pass in Oregon, the DA could just do all sorts of things without any thought for the victim at all. The victim's just kind of a witness in their case. So we bring the victim to the forefront and we explain to the victim, this isn't your case. Right. This is the state of Oregon versus this person. And sometimes we have victims who don't want the case prosecuted. Right. And then we help them through that process and explain this is gonna happen and this is how we're gonna ask you to participate in it. And so it's important for victims to know that they have rights, what those rights are, and that they don't really get to make the final decision. It really is up to the DAs. But the Jackson County District Attorney's Office, I think, is really, really good about hearing from the victim and trying to honor what they want. Okay. So our role is to help facilitate that conversation to make sure that the DA knows the DA handling the case, mm -hmm. that they know what that crime victim really wants and what they're looking to get out of this. And that way, if we can align our goals with the victim's goals, that's, that's, that's optimum. Right. And when you have people who it's their job to sit and talk to the victim and make sure that we understand where they stand and what they want, it helps the DDAs to be able to make offers and perceive what their case is in a way where they understand what the crime victim wants.